But Rabbi Judah ben Samuel prophesied in 1215. Now, he died in 1217, but in 1215. Now, Rabbi Judah ben Samuel is a rabbi, great, 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 honored rabbi he's not a not somebody that's well who is he where he 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 ran huge yeshivas in teaching jewish young men he was called the light of israel as a matter of fact ben samuel means uh, 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 a rabbi means a teacher judah means um the um uh the friend Ben means the son, and Samuel means the name of God. So he is the friend of the name of God. And in 1217, he died. Now, in 1215, two years before he died, he prophesied that the Ottoman Empire would rule Jerusalem for eight jubilees. Now, the thing I want you to understand is Rabbi Judah ben Samuel... I'm sorry, his name, Judah means praise. Praise the name of God is what his name means. Rabbi Judah ben Samuel prophesied this 300 years before it happened. When he prophesied the Ottoman Empire would rule Jerusalem, at that time, 300 years before that, the Ottomans were a small, obscure tribe called the Osmans, not Donnie and Marie. They're friends of ours. Great, great Christian people, by the way. And they were not somebody that you would think would conquer Israel and Jerusalem. So 300 years after he prophesied, which is six jubilees, a jubilee is 50 years, the Ottoman Empire overthrew Israel and began to run Jerusalem exactly 300 years after he said it. Then he said they would rule Jerusalem for eight jubilees. Now, I want you to understand, this is a prophecy given 300 years in advance. 300 years. 